Hi, my name is Delaney, and I'm a senior at SCUT. I like your work! <laughs> and this is the 11th commandment. The weeks I do not visit God's house, I visit my father's instead. My bi-weekly schedule accounts for only half of my sin. My parents live on the same street on different sides of town. A straight shot down Pacific, but at least it's the same state now. Moving meant I got to meet you, and that's all I could really ask. You ask a lot of questions. Like, how many times have I moved? Eight. Have I ever wanted my parents back together? My swift answer is no. I'm not sure why they got married in the first place, to be honest. They're polar opposites in the way magnets push each other apart if they are pushed the wrong way. When forced to be together, polarizing and pulling me apart to two houses, two lives, two families. My mother hates leaving possessions behind and my father hates having so many things. But when we moved from the rental house to the first permanent house, I helped him pack again. And as we stumble through the catacombs of letters and Boy Scout recommendations, I find a picture of my father and a woman. When I ask him who it is, he plainly tells me it was his first wife. Making my mother the third in this never-ending trinity, three persons, one role, but my parents got an annulment, which is not a church divorce. Divorce is all things lawful and civil, no matter how uncivil the split is. Annulment is an investigation into the validity of a marriage. Divorce is bank accounts and child support. Annulment is void of signature and return to sender. Divorce separates two joined together. Annulment recognizes something that never was. It never was. It never was. And who am I to disagree with God, with the ones inspired by God, the holy ones who say my family is not broken because it was never whole in the first place. Heaven forbid the Lord Almighty come down to save my soul because they made the trade, the Faust to save. Hell was never my goal. When St. Peter finds me at the pearly gates of my name, he will call. I will listen for all four of them if I can even get there at all. It's not my fault, but it is my problem being treated like I am the fallen angel angels of heaven who became the demons of hell. A question for the council who chose my holy war. How can I choose? How can I survive? How do I take back what I've been deprived? What should I call my father's girlfriend's daughter? Or my half-sister's half-sisters of whom I'm not related? Is there a fancy word for that? Or a doctrine to explain? I don't go to church very often because there are no answers there, just right and wrong. My questions ring like bell tones in an empty chapel, echoing long and loud till kingdom come. If the fourth commandment says honor thy father and mother, does that mean I have to choose? 